Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at newly released Process Reward model by Alibaba. This model is a fine-tuned version of Coin 2.5 and instead of generation, you use this model to offer feedback on the quality of reasoning and intermediate steps rather than generation. We are going to install it locally and I will also show you a hands-on example how you can provide and generate feedback on the quality of reasoning instead of a general reasoning stuff. Now before I do that, let's have a quick look as why exactly this is needed. We have seen numerous language models over the course of last couple of years. But these models often make mistakes when solving problems, especially when it comes to mathematics. It is really crucial to develop methods for automated error detection in mathematical reasoning. And this model exactly tries to do that. Not only that, it is based on a very deep research by Alibaba and the paper behind this research also introduces a benchmark which is called as process bench that we can use to evaluate the ability to identify erroneous steps in mathematical reasoning and this model which is PRM or process reward model does exactly that. There are a lot of features around that process bench which I will mention shortly but one thing I really want to mention is that this PRM is not really a new thing. There are a lot of other PRM models and methods, but all of those existing PRMs struggle to generalize to more challenging math problems, underperforming critic models and their own trained PRM fine-tuned on the data set of various kinds. And that is why I'm quite curious to see how this one PRM 7 billion performs. Not only it comes in 7 billion, but also in 70 billion one, but I'm just going to go with this 7 billion. So let's get started. Before I move forward, let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is my VM. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I will give you a discount coupon code of 50% which you can use any time. Okay, so let's get started with the installation and I'm going to create this virtual environment with Konda. And now let's install all the prerequisites and one important thing is that make sure that you install latest version of transformers that is why i am installing it from the source because this model is only supported in the latest version so even if you already have transformers installed please upgrade it so while it installs this let's have a quick look at that benchmark which i was talking about the process benchmark there are more than 3000 test cases are present in that benchmark that focused on competition and Olympiad level math problems and each test case contains a step-by-step -step solution with error location annotated by human experts. So all of these models which are based on that are required to identify the earliest steps with an error or conclude that all steps are correct and that is why the quality of this model goes lot of notches up and that is what we are going to check out in one of the hands-on tests which we will be doing after getting it installed. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's first download the model. And if you see here, we are importing the libraries and I will describe this function in a bit. But if you go down, you will see that we are downloading this 2.5 math PRM 7 billion model. And then we are also getting its tokenizer. So the model is being downloaded. As you can see, there are four shards of it, just like 2.5 instruct model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And while it downloads, let's have a quick look at what exactly this function here is doing. So overall, the code which I, we are going to use here is designed to evaluate the reasoning skills and then the evaluation of those skills of a language model in a mathematical problem solving context. So first we are importing the libraries and then this function is quite interesting because it calculates the rewards for each step in the reasoning process of the model. It takes two inputs as you can see there first is logits which is the raw 
probability output from the model and then there is token mask which is which indicates the presence of a specific token that is extra underscore zero that separates each step in the reasoning process so this function is calculating the probabilities from the logits applies the token mask and then extracts the positive probabilities for each step the resulting probabilities are returned as a list that is what this code is doing and it will be clearer once we start doing it the inference on one of the tests which we will be using so let's wait for this model to get downloaded and then we will proceed further while it happens let me introduce you to another sponsors of the video who are our very good uh, friends at <coughs> agent bot agent bot effortlessly lets you deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will also drop the link to their website in videos description okay so second shard is being downloaded so the model is downloaded now let me show you the inference now before we run this let's try to understand what is happening here remember the thing that this is a reward model this is not a generation model so we are not asking it to generate anything what we are trying to do here we are using this model to offer a feedback on the quality of reasoning and intermediate steps rather than generation so keep that in mind and now let's try to understand that after downloading the model and understanding that function which we saw above the make step reward function to calculate the reward we are then preparing the input data so the input data is primarily a dictionary and that contains a mathematical problem and its step-by-step -step solution. It then constructs a conversation style input by combining the problem and solution into a single string, which is a conversation underscore string, as you can see here. And then it is encoding um, the input using the tokenizer and then model is run on this input to produce output logits. Once uh, that happens the make step reward function is called with output logits and token mask to calculate the reward for each step in the reasoning process which we described above and then we are printing out the result which are primarily the calculated step rewards which we'll see which should be a numerical value so let me run this to see what sort of thing it produces and by the way model is already loaded onto the gpu so we will also check the vram consumption shortly but first let me run this code and there you go so this is the uh, reward so you see the first and last rewards are quite high which really matches with this response here that this and this are fine but they are not so much now let me calculate uh, the vram consumption real time it is quite huge so it is just over 17 gig of vram it is consuming but given the quality of the response i think that really is worth it so overall, this code is designed to evaluate the ability of a language model to reason step by step through a mathematical problem and provide reward for each step. So if you have any mathematical model and we have covered heaps of them on the channel, you can uh, pair up this model before you give the response back to user by checking which response meets the highest reward and then only return that one. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this model. If you're interested in learning more about Alibaba's coin models, please search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.